Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I got asked an amazing question the other day that it's been difficult for me to really come up with an answer for you guys, so I'm just going to discuss it and the problems with actually finding an answer, and let's just see if we can come to some truth here. And that question becomes, what's the maximum size a guy can get on TRT? I've given a lot of discussion about how big people can get on uh, nothing, you know, natural people, people who are training for maximum size for so many years, how big they can hope to get without the use of any drugs, if they just stay natural. And there's decent data on that out there. There's a lot of information out there, and, and I've covered that quite a bit. But when it comes to the topic of TRT, we simply do not have any data upon which to draw from, and that makes it a lot more difficult for us to cover this one. And uh, I'm going to link a study down below for you guys for you guys to look at, and it'll give you some idea. And there are quite a few other studies that have looked at this more close, closely. But the one I'm going to link down below is a dose-dependent study to where young men, healthy young men, were given testosterone at different doses over the course of 20 weeks and told not to lift weights. It's the one that I linked before to where the guys on 600 milligrams gained 18 pounds of muscle, and that's 20 weeks without lifting any weights. And these were men who previously lifted weights and quit lifting. They had worked out some. They had some training experience. So even after they quit lifting, they still gained 18. The interesting thing is with the TRT dose around the 125, it looks like they gained three to three and a half kilos of lean mass during that time. Now, people can't attribute that to water weight because 125 milligrams of testosterone is not going to put any bloat on you. Your estrogen is going to be in a normal range. It's a normal replacement dose. Interestingly enough, they gained, it looks like, about seven pounds of muscle mass in 20 weeks without lifting weights. So to say that TRT doses aren't somewhat anabolic, simply isn't true. And uh, the thing is, when we look at other studies, the control group who stays completely drug-free when they're compared to TRT doses like that of around 125 or 150, it seems like the TRT guys seem to gain somewhere between 20 and 50% more muscle mass per month than the guys who are drug-free. Now, there's a lot of explanations for this. A big part of it is that people have a normal ebb and flow in their testosterone, and they usually pull your testosterone levels early in the morning and that's uh, when it's going to be the highest for most men and TRT doses are trying to get you up to that point point. and what's interesting enough is that a lot of times the peak dose is later in the week after the shot from the TRT and the spike of the TRT levels like on a weekly shot can sometimes be a couple of days to where you're actually slightly higher than the normal range whereas in the normal range for most men it's going to peak down really really low in the day and then it's going to drop off it might be half of what it was later in the day so you actually have a couple of days to where instead of an ebb and flow in the morning your levels are just really high and during that those couple of days every week someone on TRT can probably gain quite a bit more muscle mass during those days and then it slows down to normal during the rest of the week as it tapers off so there's a lot more to it than just well their testosterone level here should be in the normal range but you need to understand the normal range has an ebb and flow trt and going beyond trt with drugs does not have that normal ebb and flow it does not undulate throughout the day and there's a significant difference there because if it's not undulating throughout the day then it's being held at a high level and it stays there and that actually seems to be worth a little bit of muscle mass that's one of the reasons these silly test boosters are, don't even work because any of them would just give you little spurts just like your normal production does but any sort of uh, synthetic testosterone put in the body even under prescription at normal replacement doses is going to have long periods of time a couple several days to where it's going to bring them up and hold them there constant so it doesn't start high in the morning and then dip way down in the evening and then reset every day it's just up there high and that offers a lot of potential for muscle growth that by itself seems to be stronger for muscle growth than any combination of normal over-the-counter supplements known to man you could take as much creatine and beta alanine and protein powder and everything else that you wanted and you will still not replicate those sort of results of a replacement dose of testosterone given to men who don't even need it that should just be a replacement dose and suppress their normal production so it goes to show you how powerful testosterone really can be because again these guys gained about six seven pounds of muscle right around seven pounds of muscle on a trt dose 
over 20 weeks without weightlifting at all. So that's interesting. And the other thing that makes it really difficult to determine is you see so many people who say, and I've heard Lee Marco say this a few times, well, I know guys who are on TRT who are just massive. And so the TRT is giving them a lot, but the problem is that that's the other big problem when you get into the training world. Tons of guys who are on TRT just say they're on TRT. They might be self-prescribing and adding other drugs in, or they have their TRT prescription, but they throw in bursts of other drugs on top of it because they don't want to admit they're doing anything illegal. Most anabolic steroid users are not going to be honest about what they use with their friends, the guys at the gym. Some of these guys even hide it from their wives for years on end. So to think that they're going to admit to to it to you in the gym is just ludicrous. 99% are not. But a lot of these guys have a TRT prescription and they can explain it away that way because they've got a script. It takes them off the radar if they want to throw in other things on top of their prescription and just not tell anybody. But then when people ask, yeah, I'm on TRT and that's why I've been able to get so much bigger, you know, because I have higher testosterone levels like, like I did when I was a teenager in my 30s or 40s. But the truth is they're probably on more than just their TRT. And so that's what makes it difficult for people to really assess that because they'll see guys who are carrying 20 or 30 pounds too much muscle uh, to be natural and they claim the TRT and they really are on TRT but they're not telling you what other stuff they're adding in on top of it. So that creates a big confusing mess. So the reality is though it's standard TRT doses at 125. Well considering just what we see from the studies, I'm going to throw this out as a, a ballpark, just uh, what I think is probably possible over the natural limit for people on TRT, and I could be wrong. I want people to understand this is purely my speculation. There is zero data out there anywhere that I've seen to support this. And I'm going to say that probably because it so, does create a slightly more anabolic environment, that someone who's on a TRT dose can probably gain something in the range of 5 to 10 pounds of muscle over what would be their normal drug-free limit over the course of several years. So I would say that seems reasonable just based on what I've seen, but again, that's purely anecdote and, and me extrapolating greatly from the data. There, that is no data to prove what I just said. So I want people to understand that difference. That is purely extrapolation, anecdote, and, and all of that on my part. But that's what I would estimate as a reasonable guess, five to 10 extra pounds of muscle. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.